Welcome everybody. We got a new we have a new plane in our arsenal for Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, I just noticed it when I was going to the marketplace. It is the A321 Neo. It is a stretched out version, a little bit bigger than the A320. Um, let's see. It is. I mean, it's. You'll see. Well, there's one plane you can buy in the in the marketplace, but when you get that, you get four variants, which they're actually two the same things but with different engines well I'm, I'm, let me just explain it there's two of them with a, a Whit, Pritt and Watt, Pratt and Whitney uh, engines one's your standard one one's your long range one then you have another one that is your leap engines uh, with the same thing long distance and regular so we are in a Pratt and Whitney just a standard Pratt and Whitney one which I'm pretty sure the name is on the engine or not it is not. I thought it was. But yeah, this is it. It's an extended. It's basically. It's oh, that was bad. It's it's a stretched fuselage. It can hold 180 to 220 passengers. Uh, oops, wrong, there we go. It is uh, a 146 feet long, about 44 and a half meters. That is. And uh, so max capacity max. Seating capacity is 244. Do they ever fill it up 100%? No, nah, because that's called a safety issue there. Um, so, and let's see. Um, there's other information here I, I'm trying to go through. It's a cool little thing. I mean, the, the, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of loud when you do the audio. It's not as technical as the fly-by-wire A320. Uh, there's a few things it does for you, which, I mean, this is not a study level, obviously. I wish it was, but I'm sure down the road there will be a study level version of this, no doubt. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to our flight. So the flight we're doing is this. Let me on, right. Boom. We are going from KJFK, or JFK uh, International Airport in New York City, uh, to CMH, which is Columbus International Airport, a.k.a. also Glenn, John Glenn International, or also known as Columbus Port, or Port of Columbus. Uh, so that is where we are. That's where my, um, my, in quotes, fleet is based out of, because, I mean, that's the area where I'm from. I'm from the Columbus I reside right now in the Columbus area, so that's figured. I'm mean, yeah, well, not make my fleet from around here. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready for our flight. All right, let's so uh, let's go ahead and get back in the cockpit, start her up. Um, all right, let's go ahead and kick on the battery. If I can find the battery again, there it is. Uh, oh, that's right. Ground power is now on. Oops. All right, so I'm not really too keen. Active date. Yep, Pratt and Whitney 113G. Uh, let's see. Trying to figure out how you put the data in. Flight number 0813, go figure. It looks like most of the intel is already, like, information is already here. So I really don't have to do much. So I'm just going to go with it then. So, okay. Let me go ahead and cut this. 
We're going to go ahead and start her up. Let's start the APU. All right, so that is activating or starting up. So you can see it. I mean, it's got some nice detail on the plane. Kennedy Ground Gamma Guy Zero Eight One Three. Believe the plane is like twenty four dollars, twenty four ninety nine. It's not bad. Zero Eight One Three Pushback Request Accepted. We're already getting a pushback. See the interior. She's not bad looking. All right, let's go ahead and start the engines. So we're gonna do bleed on. Uh, let's see, fuel pumps are coming on. And then now we do engine startup. There it is. It's like an instant kick on. You see that? It doesn't even slow, it's just an instant. That's the only. I mean, it is what it is. Alright, let's go ahead and kick on the turn. Engine 2. Ooh. Alright. Alright. Engine bleeds on. We don't need that on anymore. Kind of weird. Oh well. Kennedy Ground Gamma Guy Zero Eight One Tree requesting the end of pushback. Gamma Guy Zero Eight One Tree request to end pushback. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and where is turn on these. Taxi lights. What is this? Runway turn light. Not sure what that is. All right, so let's go ahead and taxi. Missing something here? I don't think I'm missing anything. That was odd. I didn't think I did anything wrong. Uh, well, I'm still learning this plane because this is kind of odd.
Parking brake is on, yes, I know. Ah, mistakes made. Okay, it says it's available. Fuel is pumped on, is pumping. Okay then, what is going on? Gamma Guy 0813 ready to taxi west departure with Sierra. Gamma Guy 0813 taxi 2 and hold short of runway tree 1 left via taxiway Charlie Echo Charlie Delta cross runway tree 1 right Delta Bravo Delta Alpha Alpha Golf cross runway 2 2 right Golf Zulu. Alright. Contact tower. For some reason I'm getting now some action. Ready. Taxi two and hold short runway tree one left via taxiway Charlie Echo Charlie Delta cross runway tree one right Delta Bravo Delta Alpha Alpha Golf cross runway two two right Golf Zulu Gamma Guy zero eight one tree. All right, I'm not sure what the hell just happened. Yeah, I did not do literally anything. And the thing just had a freaking, like, spastastic, like, I don't know what that was about. Well, we're now back on track, so... Let's go ahead and, uh... Get back on track. Alright. After that colossal what the freaking crap was that. This is just a shakedown cruise of the plane. Oh, I forgot to actually go through the interior of the plane. Sorry. I gotta start this real fast. I forgot to start my uh, Wex, Wex, Rex Weather Force. Let's go ahead and go back to the plane. Ooh, she's got a nice sway to her. So let's go ahead and go back to the back. Whoop. Do, 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 do. And passing through walls. See, everything's, they actually animated it, which is pretty cool. See the Delta tablet. And then there. Kind of cool. I actually like this. E three twenty Neo. E three twenty one Neo.
Hello, passengers. Even though you're not really here, because this is a shakedown cruise. All right, let's go taxi. Oh, I totally forgot to do something. Could you get the brakes any worse? I'm on the brakes like hard right now. All right, uh, BHA aircraft is selected to continue. I can check my aircraft. There we go. My uh, sim tool thing was not acting right. So departing in uh, NA, elevations are 13 feet. Do apologize for the jumpy graphics if that's what you're saying. Uh, the uh, poly count in the New York City area is quite high. Oh my goodness, the brakes on this thing are garbage. I'm like, I'm like all up on the brakes. So I'm all about transparency when I do my strip my my recordings too. So I I don't really I show my screw ups. Ooh, and I'm no professional pilot whatsoever. Like I said before, though, this should be an hour flight. Once we get to the runway. Kennedy ground, generic India Tango Yankee 60 for taxi to parking. Generic India Tango Yankee 60 for taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway foxtrot. All right, we're going to go ahead and get our flaps ready. So we're going to transport this plane. to Columbus, where my fleet headquarters is. Someone's having fun in a fighter right there. I can't tell what it is. Probably an F-18. We should be coming up to the runway here any second. Turning properly. Uh, the brakes. Kennedy Tower Gamma Guy Zero Eight One Three ready for departure. I see the problem was I was there's something. I'm like turning the plane, but my rudder wasn't turning at all, so. One runway tree one left. Cleared for takeoff runway tree one left gamma guide zero eight one tree. All 
All right. Full throttle. She's going. 100 knots coming up on. 110 knots. Let's rotate. Gears going up. Gears are in. Camera guy 0813, continue for west departure. Kennedy Tower, camera guy 0813. There goes uh, the dark star underneath me. Go and bank to the left. Kennedy Tower, Gamma Guy Zero, Eight One Three, frequency change. New York approach, Gamma Guy Zero, Eight One Three, is type Airbus, four miles northwest of Kennedy, two thousand five hundred feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Gamma Guy Zero, Eight One Three, New York approach. Squawk Two Five Seven One. Squawk Two Five Seven One, Gamma Guy Zero, Eight One Three. Something's not right. Frequency so I keep losing power. Gamma Guy 0813. New York approach Gamma Guy 0813 is type Airbus 6 miles south of 6 November 7th. All right, 7, so 6, we need to go on a heading of. Request flight following. Gamma Guy 0813. New York approach. Squawk 0115. Squawk 0115 Gamma Guy 0813. Gamma right. Guy 0813 radar, contact 7 miles south of 6, November 7, 7,100 feet. Altimeter tree 0, decimal 00. zero. Alright, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Roger Gamma Guy 0813. Two, we want to go up. One tree five decimal tree five for Gamma Guy zero eight one tree. New York approach Gamma Guy zero eight one tree eight thousand five hundred feet. Gamma Guy zero eight one tree. New York approach altimeter tree zero decimal zero zero. Continue as planned. Let's Gamma go ahead and turn on flight director. you just do
Why are you veering off that way? 118 decimal niner, 75 gamma guy, 0813. Gamer guy, 0813, New York Center altimeter tree, 0. Why do we just have a little kid come on the freaking. Trying to get this to work. Wow, can we please?
I'm trying to fucking figure this shit out. Three sixty nine. Alright, so, that was sketchy. I had to do a lot of thinking and a lot of like, uh, I don't know what the hell's going on type of thoughts. Yeah, that was kind of sketchy, I will admit.
Are we at altitude? Yeah, we are. It's a nice looking plane though. Definitely not a study level. We'll do more flights with this though because this was a kind of a sketchy start of this flight. Oh boy. So this stretch of the flight is 325 nautical miles. Are we coming across any storms coming up? I am not seeing anything on immediate radar. No, 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 we're not. Nope. This is what I'm seeing on my radar. I'll just show you guys. Boom. So I'm seeing this. This is where we're at. We uh, could figure it out for a second. Don't blame. Don't shoot the messenger. But yeah, I, I mean, we got her. We got her on track. She's coming back in. I figured out how to do all that. Uh, the uh, to do that. So when you are trying to do autopilot on this plane, you if, when you click on this, you you actually have to read like, hmm, let's see, engage selected heading mode by hitting middle. My middle click, mid click, which is your scrolling button. So you have to hold down the left trigger or left button on your mouse and hit the middle button at the same time. So yeah, that got a little. That's where I, I was just like, what the hell is this going on? So now we figured that out. Well, you guys didn't see that because I was in that. Anyways, but now yeah, right here is what you see. This is the weather that's coming up. Luckily, I don't have to deal with that, so we'll make it to Columbus before the storms hit. Alright, we're going to raise altitude again. All right, let's go ahead. Going to one tree, two decimal five gamer guy zero eight one tree. New York Whoa. Center gamer guy zero eight one tree flight. Look how pretty that is out there, though. Gamer guy zero eight one tree, New York Center. Gamer guy zero eight one tree. So you again, I know that all that time you probably are like, what the hell is this going on? I'll chapter this out so you guys know where to skip to and uh, make fun of me later. But, uh, cool, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're, at, we're right now at going up to 33,000 feet. We're, at, we're climbing at 20, we're about to hit 25,000. Maybe a UPS flight coming by. There's a plane right there. Got the contrails you now from the. Oh, that's cool. I like that. You can actually see through the engine now on this one. I think you can on most of them, but this is. She's a good looking plane though. I actually like it. Can't wait for the study level version of it to come out. And now that we're out of New York City, we can actually get a decent like frame rate without be getting frame rate by the freaking polygons of the, of the uh, photogra photogrammetry or whatever. Oh, 
you know what? I just realized we probably want to do that. Uh, stupid me. Kinda want to do that because I see uh, possibly I uh, no ice. Maybe, maybe not. Some angles it looked like it right there. At this altitude, what is the temperature outside? So we are right now at Quaker Town, Pennsylvania, it looks like. Uh, temperature outside, it is... Uh, at this altitude, we are 33,000 feet, so 34,000 feet, we're at negative 41 degrees Celsius. What that is in Fahrenheit, stand by. I will figure that one out. For negative uh, 41 C in F. Well, okay, that made things a lot easier for some weird, weird reason. It's negative 41.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Kind of, we're kind of close to being even with the Fahrenheit and Celsius at that point. All right, we're coming up on 33,000 feet. We're going to fly directly above Harrisburg, Ten oh, Tennessee, oh, Pennsylvania. All right. Uh, let's see. What runway is that? I'm trying to figure out what runway they're going to possibly come put me on. But it's not telling me. Well, it's not telling me what the runway names are at all. So. New York Center Lufthansa 445 is passing flight level 370, descending 10. Oh, huh, I'm not sure. Lufthansa 445, New York Center, continue as planned. Well, there's only two runways. There's either. Left and right, so I'm, I'm, that's. I'm going with that. Good day. Going to one tree two decimal two frontier flight one four nine or five heavy. Frontier Airlines. So we are going to have to correct our. our path or our heading here because we're going to come up to our where we were supposed to be oh I could divert the flight I didn't know I could do that that's what that well there was yellow dash there I saw before I'm assuming that the yellow dash though on sim tool sim tool kit is the diversion if we had to divert from set plan. Continue as planned.
There's the moon. So again, like I said before, I am no expert at flying. I'm a pretty big rookie, but you know what? At the same time, though, I it's it's all I enjoy this. I enjoy learning this. I enjoy just doing this for fun and just being kind of entertaining in a, in a sense. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, I do other things too, obviously. I mean, I do. Uh, I mean, racing simulators and stuff like that. I mean, it's all fun stuff. I don't really don't. I mean, people may criticize me because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but you know what? It's all about the fun. I like to learn with everyone. So if you if you want to criticize me, go ahead. And uh, I mean, look at that view. That view. I've always wanted to experience sitting in the cockpit of a plane. I mean, I did once. Uh, on a on a uh, military plane, it's not really the same thing, though. Really, I'd like to experience it on a, in a civilian airliner. I mean, I have a friend of mine; he is a pilot, and I'd like to learn. I mean, not learn, but I'd like to go flying again with him once, twice. Okay, maybe maybe a million times. Clearly, the wipers don't work on this thing. Yeah, this thing here, it is definitely a... This is a fun plane. It's not a study level at all. What is this? Oh my god, that guy's gonna piss me off with that fucking voice. Uh, can we shut the radio off, please? Let's go back and get a flight following. Or like, yeah, our flight following. New York Center Gamer Guy 081 Tree is Type Airbus Tree Miles Southwest of Papa Sierra 02 Flight Level Tree Tree Zero. Request flight following. Gamer Guy 081 Tree New York Center. Squawk 510. Oh this guy on the radio is so Squawk annoying. Squawk 504 Gamer Guy 081 Tree. Whoa. What I do? What I do? What I do? That's what it was. I was about to see like, oh, uh, what did I hit? What did I hit? What did I hit? Oh, oh, we got to, we got to turn it.
right, we're turning her now. Where we just flew right next to Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, I believe that is. Yep. Yep, southern end of Pennsylvania. You guys are curious to what it looks like when I'm looking at it right now. Oh my God, it's been already an hour. Of course, though, I had to deal with stupidity on my end. Uh, where is it at? Right there. Boom. So that's what the flight looked like from New York. It went, look, I'm going out here. Nope, nope, we're going back down to normal. So we are back to being almost perfect. Oh, we're contacting Cleveland. Cleveland, Ohio is airspace now. Going to one two one decimal two gamer guy zero eight one tree. So Center, we still got a while to go before we can get to uh, Pleasant City that is in Ohio. So we will pass. It's just south of Wheeling, Pennsylvania. Is that Pennsylvania? Yeah, it's considered Pennsylvania. It's getting cloudy out, though. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah, she's getting cloudy out. getting there. Alright, we need to adjust our heading again because we're about to cross that line perfectly now. Too far to, or too far. Gamer guy zero eight one three contact Cleveland Center on one two four decimal four. Good day. One two four decimal four. Gamer guy zero eight one three. Cleveland Center. Gamer guy zero eight one three. Flight level three three zero. Gamer guy zero eight one three. Cleveland Center. There's a guy right there. I see a control just below my, uh, on, come on to the window, bottom of the window. I got, I steered her way off course.
We are getting close to Ohio. We won't probably see the Ohio River with this much cloud cover. Uh, we're not that close. Actually, a lot longer of a flight than I thought it was going to be. Clouds are starting to thin out. And you guys heard nothing. Say we're about halfway through the flight. One two one decimal two for FedEx Tree one six two. American one eight six six traffic is one o'clock one miles at flight level two four zero generic. Report them in sight. Porter seven two six have the traffic. American one eight six six traffic in sight. Center Alaska 765 is at 
Oh yeah, we're more than halfway there. Clouds are thinning out though. Part of me actually wanted to do this. Like, nope, I'm just gonna scrap this warning. But no, I, like I said, transparency. I'm just gonna be as transparent as possible. Not much I can do up here when I mean, when I'm just cruising. United two four three five Cleveland Center. Continue as planned. One two four decimal four for Frontier Flight one six zero one heavy. We're doing good though. There, I believe that's the Ohio River that we're seeing down there. From 33,000 feet up, it's a good, good view. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the longest flight. But I want to make another, I want to make a long flight. I want to do from east coast to west coast. Okay, I can say the longest flight I've done is from east west to east coast, and that was the dark, uh, dark star. But, of course, that just didn't take any time at all. I want to do an actual flight, a full flight, in one of these jumbo jets. These little, these big boys. Like I said before, it's a it's a fun plane. Nothing tech too technical about it. Like I know the seven thirty seven I tried before. Uh, the first attempt record of core recording, I actually forgot to turn my a passenger uh, air on, and let's just say I think that's probably not a good thing. Wow, excuse me, I apologize immensely. That was not supposed to happen. So what happens when you come home from a long day at work? Just do more work. I don't think that was the Ohio River. I don't think that's the Ohio River, honestly. Cause she's still ways out. Yeah, that's not the Ohio River. That's uh, one of the rivers that comes out of Pittsburgh, I believe. We're almost up to our second waypoint.
Yep, we're coming up to our waypoint, which means the Ohio River should be coming up now. Oh, I guess maybe that was it, the Ohio River. Oh no, that's not that's not the Ohio River. It's somewhere up beyond farther. Cause that one, I believe, runs into Pittsburgh. Which Pittsburgh should be up Yeah. Up in here. Oh, how I love ray tracing. So the Ohio River, or was it the Ohio? No, Ohio River goes through Wheeling. So that's still coming up. It's still coming. Gammer guy, gammer guy, huh? So, it should be coming up. Hopefully you can see you, however. Once we hit this next waypoint, it's going to get busy pretty quick because we have to we hit this waypoint, then hit another waypoint, and then we land. My co-pilot can't even say the name. See how we're going through all these clouds. Oh, look, there's a plane right there. I wonder what that is. He's scooting along, though. There's the Ohio River. Right there it is. So we're going to pass into West Virginia just ever so slightly. Wait, traffic in sight.
Apparently we got close. The level of detail on this wing, the, this tail. What if I just did... What if I just yank the wheel, uh, the wheel, yeah, the wheel, we're gonna yank the wheel! Please stick in this diver. That would not be good. And there it is, the Ohio River. We're in West Virginia now. And Cleveland Center, United two two seven six and flight level four zero zero descending one zero thousand feet. We two two seven six are Center and as planned. Come on. Or no how airspace. Jesus Christ, that took forever. I feel like I was gonna ha I was gonna happen a lot faster, but then it's just like watching the map. Like, come on, come on, move faster. Must move faster. Oh yeah, now we're in Ohio airspace. Center, American Flight Four One is passing flight level three zero zero, descending one zero thousand feet. American Flight Four One, Cleveland Center, continue as planned. Should not be long before we land. With the big delay at the beginning and so on and so forth because of something weird going on. What is the plane doing all of a sudden? She just all of a sudden gained more power. Air just get really dense for some reason? Well, the beginning of the flight was pretty, uh, huh, how should I put this? Sporadic, weird, all over the place. 
messy? I think messy is the right word for it. But now we're back on track. We're about to hit our next waypoint. Which means I got to take her to the left. And then we're going to start descending. We're going to go ahead and start changing course slowly. All ahead flank! Looks like we'll be perfect right there. We're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, wow. ATC got real quiet. I say that all of a sudden they're going to start talking again. Why Indianapolis? Why not Columbus? One two four decimal for Fife for Gamma Guy zero eight one three. Brickyard four five eight five contact Indianapolis Center. On oh, one, ETA two, to arrival. Eight five. minutes fifty seven seconds. Day. Clouds are cleared out. <clears throat> We're looking good. Storms are well to the west south in Kentucky, so we're weather-wise, we are just looking good. Let's get it done. really didn't expect this flight to take this long. So current temperature in Columbus, it is 28 degrees Celsius, which is probably about 80, uh, mid eighties. Dew point, it is 18. So, uh, I'm rounding it. I'm guesstimating. Oof. Uh, 65, 67 ish area degrees Fahrenheit and dew point range winds out of the at 20 degrees at eight knots visibility is to the freaking limit uh altitude we're altimeter is good clouds few at 5,000 feet broken at 25,000 All right, we gotta steer her a little bit more. Oh, we're right on the path now. Oh, that couldn't get any better. Here, I'll show you guys. Pop.
That couldn't be any more perfect. Now we just gotta... Oh, no, nope. she used an Alvier and back off. That's fine. Drop her down to 265. Going at about 434 knots at a heading of 265, where we're sitting at 35,000 feet. 35,000, 33,000. Apparently, I can't count. All right, we're going to have to start descending, so we're going to start uh, bringing her down now. Now we're bringing her down. Bringing her down to 19,000. We're gonna turn flight director up here soon so we can take this big old bank. Actually, no, I'm not gonna turn it off. I'm just gonna. Banker really hard. All right, we're going to bank now because I know that. We're going to need the. Uh, all right, we're going to request uh, permission to land. Nearest airport list. No. Wait, nearest. No. Stupid thing. God dang it. I wanted you to update. I'd ask for it. No. No. Stupid. Columbus Tower Gamma Guy 081 Tree is tree one mile southeast flight level 240 with Yankee to land. Make straight in runway 28 left Gamma Guy 081 tree. Alright, we got. Got a banker hard. Oh, this is going to be a... So, 28 left. Alright, let's go ahead and click off flight director. Autopilot's off. We're gonna bring in her, bring in, bring her in myself.
We gotta go at an angle so we can. Weird is like I'm not. I mean, I'm trying to request a landing, and it's like almost like it's like nope. We don't want to. You only have to request. You can just just make your ten intentions. All right. We are out wide enough, I believe. Auto throttle is off. Shit, I actually left it on. We need to really drop altitude now. Oh yeah, we need to really drop. Full flaps, spoilers out. So we can really reduce speed. I'm sure this plane would break up so bad. Clear to land runway 28 left Gamma Guy 081 train. Alright, there we are. Gears down. Five hundred, what are you talking over about? Over speed, 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 over speed. Why is the oh, wait, the flaps never went the right direction. Crap. Put their flaps. I thought I'd deploy the flaps, but I went a completely different way. Oh, come on. Let it be a good landing. Wow, you need a runway for this thing to land. Oh, I took the wrong way. All one, right. two, one decimal niner for Gamma Guide zero eight one three. Raise up the flaps a little bit. Let's 
go in. Oops. Yeah, shut down the spoilers. I mean, that wasn't a bad landing. I was dropping 248 feet per minute. Ooh. I mean, that's not bad. It's only 1.03 Gs at 156 knots. So we're going to go, since this is our, ad, our plane to add to our fleet, we're going to go take this to the aviation parking since we have no one on board. I have to say that wasn't a bad landing. I did take the appropriate uh, like line, but I also, huh, I really was way too high for that landing. Go and bring the flaps all the way up now. Oh, look, I just went to the grass. Oh, it's going to take me right here. That's not where I told it to park me uh, before. Oh, well. Proper, proper parking. That's perfect. Parking brakes on. So, all right. Let's go ahead and don't need baggage claim. Let's go ahead and. Columbus Ground Gamma Guy Zero Eight One Three. Could you please connect the jetway to the aircraft? There it is. All right. Cool. And now we are connected. All right. You gotta have a way to get off. So I appreciate everyone. That's Okay, anyways, whatever that was. I appreciate everyone for coming to review this. This was a shakedown flight of the uh, A320-1. Oh, uh, yeah, it was the A321neo that we were just shaking down for the f add to my fleet of planes. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some good information about the plane. That's not a bad little thing. I mean, it's not study level, but it's not the, also the worst. Um, until next time, have a good one.